So what's up guys hope you are doing well. So are you looking for a way to manage your child's digital activities and ensure their safety online? Well you're in the right place. Today we are going to talk about Google Family Link the ultimate parental control app. But before we dive in I want to emphasize that this video is for educational purpose only. We are here to provide you with information and guidance on using Google Family Link responsibly to enhance your child's online safety. So what exactly is Google Family Link? It's an app developed by Google that lets parents create a safe online environment for their children. With Family Link, you can set digital ground rules, manage apps, and even track your child's device location. So setting up this app is really simple. So first, just go to your parent smartphone and then go to Google Play Store and search for Google Family Link. The link will be also available in the description below. This is a free app. So download and install this Google Family Link in both your smartphone and your child's smartphone as well. So just do the same process. You can directly go to the link in the description or you can just search in your Google Play Store for Google Family Link. So this app is mainly developed by Google. So this is trusted, nothing to worry about. So after installing it, then just open the Google Family Link from your parent account and then sign in using your personal Google account. So here it is saying, does your child have Google account? Just make sure to create one and then click on yes. So here it is saying the settings. You need to go to your settings and then go to Google, then parent and control. So you need to follow this step. So let me show you. Just go to your child's smartphone and then just open the settings on your children's smartphone and then scroll down a bit. And here you can see the option digital well-being and parental control. So just open it. And then here you can see scroll down a bit and at the bottom here you can see families parental controls so just tap on here so here just tap on at the bottom and here it is saying who will be using this device so here you need to select child or teen and then here you can see you need to mainly click on next so it is saying getting next step ready so now you mainly need to select your children's google account so if they already don't have one then make sure to create one for them and then select the Google account of your children. And then here, now you need to put your parent account, the account you use personally on your personal smartphone. So here I am typing the parental account from which I want to control my children's device. So then put your password, then it is saying checking account. So about supervision here, they are saying something. So if you are agree with that, then just click on agree. And here you can see at the bottom, you mainly need to put the password of your children's account. So if your child have a Google account, then make sure to put your child's Google account's password here and then click on agree. And now you need to click on to allow the supervision. So now it is saying linking account. So here you can see just click on allow. And now your account is being linked. So it might take a couple of seconds or minute depending on your internet speed, obviously. So now it is saying your accounts are linked. So here you can set timer. Here you can check that how much time they have used their smartphone on a daily basis. So here you can see you can also track like which app they use the most. So if you want to save their time that if you don't want them to play certain games, you can easily block these games as well. So here you can see this is the interface from your children's account. So let's say for example, here is a game called clash trial so if we just here click on block then here let me show you so now if we just search for it here you can see this app is not available anymore so if we just search for this game here clash trial you can see nothing is showing up so we have blocked it from our parental device and now our children device the app is blocked so if we just unblock it now then let me show you here you can see if we just search for clash trial again the app is now visible and your children can use this app so by this method, you can easily block any apps that you don't like your children that maybe they are spending too much time playing game or watching movies or watching YouTube videos or using social media. You can block these apps or you can also add like certain time limits for particular apps. Let's say that you want to restrict their YouTube users. So just click on here and click on restrict. So you can also do the same for your Google Chrome. You can like allow certain types of website. If you wish, you can try to block some explicit websites. 
so here you can see you can allow like which types of app they can download so if you just go, you go to google play store from here and you can also restrict the age limit and everything for your children's devices you can also track their live location right from your smartphone so yes there you have it paris remember this video is for educational purposes only setting up google family link is quick and easy and it's an essential tool for managing your child's online activities responsibly if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow parents thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video